Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to implement tab traversal in WX widgets. So what is tab traversal? Well, let's go ahead and open up our application. And you'll notice that this widget here has a little blinking cursor in it. That means that this widget has focus. Now if I hit the tab key, focus should shift from the top widget here down to the bottom widget. But as you can see, that's not happening. So today I'm going to show you how to fix that. In order to implement tab traversal in WX widgets, we need to place our widgets onto a window with a WX tab traversal flag set. This is typically done with a WX panel. Now if we go to the definition of the panel, you'll notice that the panel has the WX tab traversal flag set by default. We'll need to place the panel inside of the main sizer. And we'll want the panel to stretch in both the horizontal and vertical direction. We'll need to add a sizer to the panel, so we can go ahead and copy the main sizer. And I'll call that panel main sizer. Our widgets need to be children of the panel instead of the WX frame, so we'll need to change the this pointer to the panel pointer. And instead of using main sizer, we'll want to use panel main sizer. Okay, so now you can see that the color has changed. That's because the default color of the panel is different from the default color of the WX frame. And if I hit the tab key, you'll notice that focus shifts from the top widget down to the bottom widget. The only other thing you need to know about tab traversal is how to change the tab order. In order to do that, we'll need a couple more widgets. So I'm going to create a couple of buttons. The stretch spacer will just take up any extra space in our sizer. And now we'll create a button. 
And I'll make this the OK button. And the parent should be our panel. And we'll use the ID WXID OK. And I'll also create a cancel button. And we just need to add the button sizer to the panel main sizer. So now if we open up our application, we can see we have our two buttons as well as our space. And if we hit the tab key, we can see the tab order. To change the tab order, we can use one of two methods. There's move before in tab order and move after in tab order. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the cancel button show up before the OK button in the tab order. The way you would do that is you would use the move before in tab order method. So here we're saying the cancel button should be before the OK button in the tab order. So now if we cycle through the tab order, you can see that the cancel button appears before the OK button in the tab order. Now we also have the move after in tab order method. We'll use this method to place the cancel button after the first widget in the tab order. And now if we cycle through this, you can see that the cancel button shows up after the first name box. So this is the first name box, right? And there's the cancel button. All right. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.